So that, that's what I wanted to share about this is that you also mentioned in your story that you're struggling or you had some struggles getting your music out there for a yeah. while. But one thing about UAE, um, about the UAE um, music culture is that the pandemic kind of slowed things yeah. down a bit. But you see things are reviving quickly Absolutely. after the vaccination. Absolutely. But I want to ask you, what is, um, what is the blessings of the music festivals and the music culture here uh, in the UAE? And what are the challenges that other artists have to face, uh, from your opinion, especially yeah. rock musicians? Yeah. No, that, 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 that's a good question. So, I mean, yeah, you're right. During the pandemic, everything did slow down. And... You could see it all over social media. I think the, the people that got hit the most were the, the musicians and the artists because their bread and butter is their performances. And since obviously the performances got cut, they're the ones who are struggling. And, they, and that's when like, you know, people threw themselves into technology and like live gigs via Zoom or, or Facebook Live and all of that. And it was brilliant. I mean, it was really nice to see that the, the people of, the, of, of Dubai and all the, everybody was so supportive of each other. They were always like, like, like clicking on these links and like, you know, sharing this and that. I kept seeing that and I thought that was brilliant. And so, you know, that's what I did like. Like Dubai is such a multicultural city, right? So of course. you as an artist, if you, put, if you put your music out there, like it can hit so many different people from so many different parts of the world. And you just, you're just putting it in Dubai. It's not like you're kind of, you know, Facebook ad marketing it to like, ooh, I need to do it to India, to America, to this, to that. You're literally just this target Dubai and suddenly you hit this, like people from all ages, all backgrounds, all types, and so it's it's a real it's a real good test to see how far your music can go. Um, but that itself is a pro and a con in itself. I always think because the pro is yeah, you do reach a lot of people, but the con is it's hard for you to decipher where your where your crowd is because like you know just like any bands like ACDC, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, or like you know, or Billie Eilish, or all these like any artists out there, like you know, of course they have a fan following. But in Dubai, because it's so, there's so many people over here, your fan following can be lost. Like people might follow you because maybe they just like you, maybe they like the way you look, or they actually like your music. So, so, but because there's so many people from so many parts of the world, it's very difficult to kind of say, okay, my music resonates most with these guys. My res music resonates most with these guys. So and that's the only thing I always struggle because yeah, you get a lot of hits, you get a lot of views, but you don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It just, like, it just comes in from everywhere. So. I mean, in terms of, I guess, in marketing and music, it can be a bit tricky in Dubai because it's all about, because Dubai is such a fast-paced city. It's constantly moving. So you've got to keep up with it because if you don't keep up with it, you're just yesterday's news or some new artist is going to come out there and like, he'll top you in terms of his, his style or charisma. So you have to constantly figure out a way to keep up because it, it's so... Um, I mean, look at the city. I mean, look at the architecture. Look at the way things are evolving so fast over here. So even music itself is like going at such a crazy rate with all types of musicians out there. So it is kind of hard sometimes you as an artist kind of figuring out where do you stand? Because I guess one of the struggles of being a musician here is because sometimes you focus so hard on creating your craft so well, but mm -hmm. then when you put it out there, like nobody really cares. It doesn't really hit. And then you're just like, oh crap, you know, what did I do? Did I, did I make it wrong or something? And so, so it can be a bit demotivating. And like, then you see other artists out there and you try to kind of see, okay, should I go more on that style? But you know, so that's sometimes one of the things you kind of, face, which I mean, I've faced as an artist in Dubai that I always don't know how that would be fine. Like when I first started singing my music, great, because I was new and there was a new face. My sound was different. I sang in a very low baritone kind of voice. It was really cool. And then suddenly people just got bored and they say, okay, and now what? You know? And so that's what I realized. I was like, oh yeah, I actually don't even know what, <laughs> now what do I do? So that's when I had to kind of evolve. I started throwing in some beats. I, I decided to create music videos, especially now I, I'm, I'm changing my music constantly just to keep up with with everything and it's and it's also a lot of fun it's always it's always fresh to keep it moving right so you don't get stagnated in your own in your own sound so so yeah so i guess uh, dubai is great for putting your music out there for a test audience but i guess the real struggle is is to kind of you got to keep you got to keep your fans i guess or you got to keep people know that you still exist because you know people can forget so quickly you know with social media yes you're like, right so so viral these days like you you can like you, your video can go viral today and then tomorrow you're just like what who was that like you know so you got to keep on hitting it out there and you got to keep creating cool and content and keep just keep it aware hardest, i guess that's the hardest part because i actually met some people not, not met some people i know yeah. a few celebrities they could be gone for five years but when they come back people are like yay again but uh yeah. if, if you can find that niche market where they're like loyal fans like they're loyal fans there's just something yeah. about you specifically maybe it's your voice maybe it's your personality maybe it's your wisdom absolutely something your gesture yeah that it resonates yeah. with them. And you can have like 20,000, 30,000 of that loyal fan base. Yeah. That's, I mean, I'm not saying you have a yeah. mansion, 
but you you won't have to work yeah. kind of five jobs anymore. You're set for life. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and I think it's one of those things. It's like I think every artist has that story. That you know that I mean, everybody's like got their main job, their side hustles, their this and that, and I, and even me. I mean, I I work in 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 a job that's completely. Uh, like different from what my music scene is and it's like yeah i mean sometimes the struggle is like you know keeping up with that and and your music at the same time because you only have 24 hours in a day and i'm like oh my god i got so many things to do i don't have time to do anything and like you know but then that's what where social media plays a, a good role in. and i think one of the things with social media is that you can just create so much content out there and it doesn't and i think you just have to keep putting it out there so people know that okay you are a musician you are working on something but you're still moving and you're still kind of current you're still there you haven't been just sitting on yeah you know sitting on and doing nothing if you know what i mean so right uh yeah yeah man so i can i think with uh, with music especially in, in dubai like social media is such a it's so big in terms of just getting people aware of who you are i think if, if you're not on it or if you're not constantly going on at it and creating cool content or, or, or just informing people of what you're doing yeah i mean you know people will not know what what like who you are or where you come from and then suddenly if you come back like let's say two weeks or like like a month later they're like who was this and who like why is this person relevant now you know what i mean you know that's that's the hard thing about being an entertainer nowadays um people said it's oh, yeah. it was harder back then i think it's just as hard as it was back then because the difference is that now the market like instagram facebook TikTok, it's yeah over, when i say over i mean with a capital o b e r it's Oversaturated. Tell me about it, man. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're a needle. You're, you're basically a needle in a haystack in social media. So, yeah. So that's why you need to. And, and, and also, the, 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 don't you find it weird that, like, you know, sometimes you know you think of some of the viral videos out there, especially when it comes to TikTok. Uh, you know, it's like the dumbest things out there suddenly make it viral, and like it could be literally a, what, a cat walking on the street and somebody's just taking a, a video of it and put a voiceover to it and oh god one million views but you can be working your butt off on the sound and spending money time and like people are saying ah yeah it's great <laughs> this is you know it's 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 the, it's, the, it's the challenge i always find like with, with social media because i mean back then okay the radio was the only way to kind of hear new music so the whole world focuses on just the radio and like the radio was selective to the type of content it creates but now with social media Everything can be made. Like content can be anything. And and you know what? I've seen it with artists. Like who was it? I mean, I see with loads of artists and actors out there that even though they are known for something, they create content which is completely like not who they are. Like you know, and like maybe they'll do a funny TikTok dance. You know, and like you know, I think I think it was Jason Derulo. Like I kept seeing him on like TikTok on my TikTok a lot, and I was like, what? Like you know, and like it was just that. Like I think you just have to keep up with the way technology is changing, and you as an artist just has to kind of figure out where you can like still keep your kind of your credibility, but still match up to what's happening out there. My only advice is that, see, I, I always tell people this, don't study, don't, don't study the new talents, study the talents that have been in the game yeah. for four decades or five decades. For instance, yeah. entertainment, like you said, entertainment is ever changing. Is ever changing. You've seen people who are hit, yeah. hit wonders. You've seen people who come and go, but there are names that remained for four decades. For instance, Dr. Dre and hip hop. Dr. Dre yeah, is still absolutely. known. Kiss is still known. Um, who else? Like absolutely, you said, Guns yeah. N' Roses, everywhere is still known. Bob Marley yeah. is still known. They can yeah. come back and yeah. do something again. So what I've noticed is that there are names that are just unforgettable. So what I realized absolutely. is that uh, the people who are alive, I, don't, I usually don't study the new, the new talents. I studied, I yeah. still study people like, um, I'm talking about, I know I'm talking from a hip hop perspective, but I, I study people yeah. like uh, Eminem, the Jay-Z's, even podcasters like, like yeah. Howard Stern. I study Howard Stern. Yeah. Howard Stern been there since the 1990s. And yeah. is, he's like a radio, he's still a famous radio host in California. And he's still in the game yeah. today in 2021. They never fell off yeah. because they keep on making, yeah. because they, I, I think people always say, he'll always change with the trends, but the trends never yeah. The trends never changed them. They borrow maybe a few trends here and there, but it's like their yeah. their 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 train is still here. They'll probably swerve again, yeah. you know, here and there. But yeah. they're, not, they're not going. But but a lot of people, I think, when they get lost, they're too busy going over here and going over there and then going. Absolutely, no, you're right. And, it is it is true, it is true. But like, fine. I mean, like I, for me, I, I kind of do both. I mean, definitely like listening to the. Like, like you said, the, the, the established musicians or artists out there, like even like decades and decades, they're still so relevant today in terms of their music and their style and their message. But also trying to also remember that they were the pioneers of their time. So in their time, 
they were the one, number one in the scene. So music was like that. So of course they did it. So now if you try to put in, in today's time, like sometimes if you try to recreate that artistry today, it may not work just because people, maybe with the modern people today are not interested in that genre anymore or people don't really care about that kind of music. Right. So you kind of have to kind of find the right balance where you just, you learn the wisdom from the old, but somehow match it to be relevant in the new. You know? so you, I mean, that's, and it's a, oh. it's a struggle because like the new, the new is changing. I mean, you know, like you said, there are a lot of new artists out there, and like some, some, there's some, there's also such rubbish music. I've been just <laughs> like some absolute garbage music out there. And I'm just like, how on earth is this so big and like so viral? Like you know, and don't get me wrong. I mean, it's funny for me. It's just, it's entertainment is is exactly what it is. It's entertainment. It's supposed to entertain you, and it does that. It makes me like laugh. It makes me figure yeah. out like, okay, the world's gone crazy. If this is hey, trending, these there's days. a rapper. There's, there's a rapper named Lil Poopy. And there's another rapper going little baby, a uh, little toilet, little puppet. There's a lot of littles. Wow. Right? Yeah. Zigzag. And uh, L apostrophe I L. Yeah. Lil. <laughs> <laughs> the abbreviations, the abbreviations is also what gets to me. It's like all these nicknames, and abbreviations. Like, oh my God, I can't keep up. But then I also understand it's, it's, it's like, it's just like aging in general. Like as, as I'm getting older, I, I start feeling exactly, I guess, like how, your, the older generation felt about us where they're like, what is this? What is the music they're listening to? We can't keep up with it anymore. And we and like, whereas I'm feeling yeah, that we're old the new generation. When, we are old. Yeah, you know, when people th- start talking to me and they're about like their their music, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I'm just like, oh my God, that's crazy. Like, what is that? I don't even know what that is. But like, but at the same time, I, I admire some of the new musicians out there. When I listen to some of the music, I'm like, hey, that actually sounds pretty cool. I mean, like, you know, it's it's out of the box. It's new. It's something innovative. I mean, not all of the new artists. There are some some artists out there, and um, so yeah. So like I said, so it's kind of like learning from the from the from the from the grandmasters of the old and like how they did their things, but kind of bringing it to twenty twenty one and trying to figure out okay, what they did in their 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 visionary way. How do I make it in, in today's scene? And while for, for example, social media has changed the game completely. So you know recreating their kind of style but using the, the the benefits of social media because and social media is very technical sometimes you know especially when you come to creating ads doing promotions finding the right content like posting at the right time all these yeah. algorithms it drives you crazy like you know you yes. have to kind of sometimes you create content and you just have to kind of okay no no today's the sunday let's not post it today let's post it tomorrow because monday is where the traffic is it's crazy like you know it's like what like how are we supposed to keep up with all of that but it's what you have to in order to kind of hit those marks uh, of just reaching people. And then, like you said, once you reach that, 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 that hit, then no matter when you post, you become like, everybody can see you. So it's just one of those things. It's just the initial struggle, which I think, which well, I, I mean, everybody, every musician is going through. I mean, like, yeah.